think you might have to take this one. Nope. Okay. You have to go hold it close. So the question is, what measures do you propose to ensure transparency and accountability in city government operations and decisions and processes? So when I ran last time, I ran on a platform of transparency and accountability. So I'm proud to say that this city council that I've been a part of, I'm just one of seven, so I can't take all the credit, but we brought back public comments in an effort to bring back transparency to the city of Leander. And to, so those citizens had the opportunity to bring public comments to us. So we brought back that transparency. We also brought back the library rentals because I believe in the constitution and I believe everyone should be able to have the right to rent a library. So as in an effort to do government transparency, I think we're doing our part to do that. With our water issues recently, I know that we have spent the time to really dig into what those issues are and make sure that our public is aware of what we're doing with the plan and water rules. So I'm all about transparency and accountability, and I'll be running on that platform this time as well. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How will you work with the Inter Independent School District? And is there anything specific you recommend on behalf of the city to support education in this development program? That's a good question. <sighs> you know, it's interesting because when you go downtown and you go to the municipal building, right across the street is the, basically the headquarters of LISD. And when you go down a little further, there's, a, there's, there's, there's other school buildings and all that. And when we look at our downtown, it really is LISD. How do we work with them? As a city, we don't actually have much interaction with them related to their policies and how they do things. But what we can do is we can work together on bringing groups of individuals together. I'm serving currently on L packages, the Andrew Parks Arts and Culture Fest. One of the things that we're doing, we're trying to put together our art fest for October. And what we want to do is partner with the elementary schools, junior highs, and the high schools to promote art in the schools. And so that's one of the ways we can do that. But we can do that at every event that we have in the have in the have in the have in the city. The other thing is, is can we get more usage possibly out of LISD related facilities? Because when you look around Leander, there are not a lot of facilities to host a lot of people. I mean, it's very nice that we can come here, but this isn't in Leander. And you know, and I am running for Leander City Council, not for Park City Council. And I would like to have places like that so that we can gather as a community and that we can actually do things with the kids, things like that. So that's one of the things I like to see is center uh, that we wouldn't necessarily have to go to the school district for and things like that. So that's what I would work toward as a city council. Thank you for your time. <laughs>